Hey folks, Aaron here. Uh, welcome to another Monday vlog. Tonight I've got some stuff about fitness, running, current schedule, uh, some agile thoughts, and uh, a departure. All right, so first off, you may have noticed the quote at the very beginning of this vlog. Yes, it's from a TV show, I realized that, but I thought it was really meaningful. Um, in the show, Magnum's running. Um, he's training for an Iron Man. I'm not training for an Iron Man yet. But uh, I felt like it really had some meaning, especially it was especially kind of echoing in my head over the weekend as I was at the gym because it was snowing. And I was grinding out 13 miles on a treadmill. And you know what? There are a lot more things that I would like to have been doing with three hours on a Saturday than running on a treadmill. But, you know, that's the thing. My goal is to run a marathon. And my ultimate goal is to run a marathon fast enough to qualify for Boston at some point. So that means I've got to sacrifice some time on a Saturday, on a weekday evening. You know, it's... And in a large part, the sacrifice is what makes the goal meaningful. Um, if it were something super easy, it wouldn't be much of a sacrifice. It wouldn't really be much of a meaningful goal. The fact that, you know, I have to forego other things that I enjoy more, be they sleep, game time, not waking up in the morning feeling like I was hit by a truck the previous day. You know, the fact that I have to sacrifice some of those things is, in part at least, what makes the goal a challenge and what makes attaining it feel good. Uh, so, so yeah, so I, I thought it was a good quote. Um, and it really kind of helped me a little bit to have that bouncing through my head. Because let me tell you, two and a half hours on a treadmill is a long friggin' time to be running and not going anywhere and not getting anywhere. You see people get on, get off, new people come and go. It's just, I mean, it's kind of interesting seeing uh, the gym life happen around you. But it's, yeah, it's boring. Can't wait for spring to come so I can start running outside again. All right, enough about that. Uh, another interesting thing that happened last week, uh, my company had a uh, celebration dinner for uh, getting through one of the uh, current financial seasons uh, where we do a lot of our business, and um, they gave out some awards. Uh, one of my team, two of my teams actually got an award, uh, and very kindly of my co-workers, they actually allowed me to accept the trophy, and so it's going to be at my desk at work. I'm not going to show a picture of that, the, the trophy, I mean, uh, but it was very sweet of them. Um, the thing I want to mention about that. The reason I, why I'm bringing it up in this vlog is not to be bragging and like, oh, yeah, I'm the best. I'm totally the best. I got an award. All my co-workers think I'm awesome. No. The point is, and this is something I said to my co-workers as well, is this was a team award. Uh, and a lot of my team is not even on site. Uh, they are remote, in a couple of different offices elsewhere in the country. And this is an award that everyone won. Uh, and it's, it's humbling. It should be humbling. Uh, certainly humbling to me. It should be humbling to anyone in my circumstances. Uh, when people acknowledge, you know, hey, you did well. But 
you know, you, it's something in this, you know, certainly in this case, it's something where you need to acknowledge, you know, thank you, but we achieved this as a team. We, we succeeded as a team. We would have failed as a team. Um, and I think that's just, yeah, that's for my younger uh, viewers, you know, that this is one of those life lessons that's very valuable to carry through life. Just, you know, remember who you work with. Know that you succeed when you're on a team. You succeed as a team. You fail as a team. The fun thing with Agile was they made the trophy in the shape of a pig because, and I know darn well this story goes way back before Agile, but it's a story about, you know, a chicken and a pig uh, decide they're going to open a restaurant together and they are discussing what they should serve and the chicken says, hey, I got it, let's serve bacon and eggs. And the pig says, well, to you that means you have a stake in the restaurant. To me, that's total commitment. So the trophies were symbolizing that, our, were pigs to symbolize that our teams were totally committed. Um, I don't really care for that analogy, but, you know, I, I've, I've heard the story, versions of the story for a good 20 plus years, and I'm sure it's far older than I am. Uh, so that was that. Uh, and one other note, uh, schedule, still a work in progress. I know uh, I missed three days of blogs last week, three days of videos. Haven't done that in a while. Trying to not do that this week. There's, again, there's, uh, there's definitely some instability going on there. And one of the things I can talk about, if you... Just check for another video later today. Let's put it that way. There's, uh, There have been some things going on. Um, but yeah, so expect more instability. We're, I'm trying to get back on a normal schedule. It's just, yeah, it's complicated. More on that later. All right. Um, one other note. So last week... Uh, Jan Michael Vincent passed away. Um, for folks who don't know who he is, I hope that just means you're too young to have watched Airwolf. Just look up Airwolf. Um, he was Stringfellow Hawk, uh, and he had a number of personal demons that he battled both during the show and after the show in his life. Um, I very much hope he is in a better place now. Airwolf and Baba Black Sheep were probably two of the most influential shows in my young aviation geek life uh, to watch those uh, in reruns, both of them at the, by that time. But, uh, you know, Baba Black Sheep was great, just inspiring and love World War II aircraft and, you know, watching Corsair's dogfight with Zeros. Actually, T-6 Texans gussied up as Zeros, but that's beside the point. Um, you know, love that show. Uh, and then Airwolf, for all some of the, you know, silliness of some of the things that uh, they have the lady do. Helicopters can't go supersonic. Just, you know, it, it was a great show. Uh, I still have the, I have the first season on DVD. I love that show. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, that's one I'd love to see rebooted properly sometime. Be hard to do it pro... I, I don't know. I think they could do a proper reboot. Um, Magnum P.I. is... Pleasant, and MacGyver have both pleasantly surprised me with how well they've been rebooted. Um, maybe there's hope for an Airwolf reboot. Um, we'll see. Here's hoping. All right. Now it's a little bit of a downer, but uh, yeah, go watch Airwolf. 
I, I think I'm going to go listen to the Airwolf theme song. And uh, yeah. Hope everyone has a good week. And uh, we'll be back. Uh, we'll talk next week. Till then, remember for those with wings, fly to your dreams. Bye, folks.